Hello and welcome to the second part of the Catillo Wireframe and Surface Design Workbench lesson. In this lesson, we will be covering the Revolve, Extrude, Multi-Selection Surface, Fill, Offset, and Blend commands. And we will do this by creating a wine glass. So let's get started by getting into Catillo and then opening up the Wireframe and Surface Design Workbench. To start, we'll create a sketch on the front plane that will then become the bowl of the wine glass. And we'll do this simply by creating a spline. That looks good and then revolving the sketch using the revolve command. When selecting the revolve command we're asked for two things, a profile and a revolution axis. For the profile I'll select the sketch that was just created and for the revolution axis I'll select the v-axis. A preview is presented once that's both those two things are selected and that looks fine. If you wanted to though create something that wasn't revolved a full 360 degrees you could change that by changing one of the two angle limits but that looks fine for what we're doing now so I'll hit OK. Go ahead and hide the sketch that was just created. The next step is to create a stem with a wine glass and to do this we'll be using the extrude tool located here. Once selecting the extrude command we're asked also for a profile and a direction. For the profile I'll select the circle that was created using the revolve command and for the direction I'll pick a plane normal to the way I want the stem to line up. So I'll select this plane. As you can see it presents us with a stem going the opposite direction that we want so we have to hit reverse direction and there's two ways you can change the length of this you can either change it in the limits or you can simply drag it to where you want it to be and that looks fine for what we're doing so I hit OK the next step is to create a base and to do this we'll be using the multi selection surface tool but we have to create a base sketch first so to do this we have to create a reference geometry that we can sketch off of so I'll select this plane and select the reference geometry plane and as well it offsets it in the opposite direction that we want so I'll hit the reverse direction and I'll simply drag it down to where I want it and it looks fine. Once the plane's created we can create a sketch on it and this will become the base of the wine glass. Just a simple circle will do for this. Now that we have the sketch we can click on the multi-selection surface tool and this asks for simply any of the edges or surfaces or sketches that you need to create to select the surface. So we'll select that sketch and the edge of the extrude that was created. Notice that for this command there's many options presented but for what we're doing here we're only going to go with the two selections that we've created and we can click the preview button to see what that looks like. And that looks good so I'll hit OK. The next step is to fill the concave surface that's created by this multi-selection surface and to do this we'll be using the fill command. For the fill command you simply select all the edges or surfaces for which you want to fill a gap for and we want to fill this surface here. And once you're presented with a blue box that says close contour then the computer says it's okay to fill. And you can preview this. And that looks alright so I'll hit OK. I'll go ahead and hide the sketch that was just created for the base. The next step is to create a thickness for the bowl. As you can see here the the thickness of the bowl is quite thin, paper thin even. And to do this we'll create an offset of the inside of the bowl. So we'll select the offset command and it asks for a surface and an offset distance. For the offset we'll select the bowl and you can switch the direction on this but it's in the direction we want and then you can drag it to the certain offset you want or you can use the distance on the offset here and that looks fine so I'll hit OK. This then leaves us with a small valley that's created between the two offsets, or the two surfaces. And to give us a nice curved surface, we'll be using the blend command located here. The blend command asks for many selections before it can produce a, a nice blend. The first, first curve, second curve, first support, and second support. And for this, we'll simply select the offset and its surface. And then for the second curve, we'll select the outer rim and its outer surface as well. Just like the multi-selection tool, this is also presented with many options that we can toy around with, but for this, we'll simply be sticking with the basic. And for the blend, we can go with a point blend, a tangency blend, or a curvature blend, which produce slightly different curves each, the point blend actually producing a flat surface if you preview it. But for this, we want a nice curved rim, so we'll go with the tangency curve and go ahead and preview that, and that looks good, so we'll hit OK. We'll go ahead and bring the glass back to 
back to center and that's how you create a wine glass using the wireframe and surface design workbench for other tutorials on how to use some of the commands not shown in the wireframe and surface design workbench lessons or to learn more about the commands used there's a list of tutorials located on the T drive which can be found by going to my computer going to the senior design hard drive going down to Katia course clicking on fall 2009 and going to final projects then going to wireframe in the wireframe folder there's a wireframe parts catalog and there's also the wireframe workbench tutorial listing and this lists several tutorials explaining how to use in detail several of the tools that we did not explain further in these lessons and that concludes the second part of the Katia wireframe and surface design workbench lesson